I grew up in like a big. We had like four dogs yep. growing up. We had like three cats. We had rabbits. We had all that shit. I grew up. I mean, Atlanta. I grew up in the South, so we just had all that shit. So I'm like used to it. <laughs> like growing up, my sister, like my um, our first house pet was a guinea pig. My sister had a guinea pig when she was small, and like it was always in her room and in her cage. So I never really had much interaction with it. Um, but when we moved, they had got her, her dog, mm. our, her first dog. And it was like a Jack Russell Terrier. And when yeah. we got home, like, I guess our parents were trying to surprise us and the dog was in the house and like, we <laughs> locked ourselves in the room until our parents came home. That day. We ain't doing that. We ain't doing <laughs> Like, fuck no. no oh my God. I'm a Capricorn. No. What's your Hey, sign? thank y'all. Thank y'all. Y'all have seen nothing. I'm not a host, but I mean, I appreciate okay, it. I'll definitely people. support back and send it back. But I appreciate you. Okay, and when y'all send him beans and pizza, he's always, gonna host. Yeah, you can you. always come over and send them to me. <laughs> I already I'm follow you. A great idea, and it's to make sure you follow me. Wait, what's your sign? Do you? What's your sign? Yes, make sure you come through and show some love. Huh? <laughs> I am a loving, loyal, sensitive. I Cancer or Pisces? Caring. Nurturing. Wait, Cancer or Pisces? Which one? There you have it. Cancer? You already know. What you think? You know what's crazy? All my family, Thank my you. mom, sister, brother, dad, all Cancers. Grew up in a house full of Cancers. I see all Good sides. people. Good people. Good people, and, and I'm sure you, and that's why you're decent now because you was raised with so much love. But let me tell y'all about some kisses, boy. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, let me tell y'all about some kisses. Y'all are loyal. Y'all, first off, shout out to kisses. Lo- kisses are very loyal. Loyal, but I feel like it's loyal to an extent where it's kind of like. If you're not like self aware, it could be you put too much love to somebody who doesn't give it back. Cause that's how my sister is. My sister is like loyal as fuck. She dealt with like this fuck nigga mm-hmm. all that shit. But she was like, she taught me what like unconditional love is. Like she was with this nigga. She was like, I'm gonna make it work. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. And I respect that so much. And then I don't know. I've seen all sides of the like cancers just growing up with them. So like, I, y'all, shout out to cancers. Y'all, y'all real ones. They ain't gonna lie. Y'all some cancers I'm with. Yeah, that's the cancer. But mm-hmm. you know, and I think that's a re- another reason why I stay to myself is because mm-hmm. I learned at a very early age not a lot of people appreciate me, and I've I've come into so many heartaches where mm-hmm. in understanding that everyone is not going to treat me how I treat them. So instead of me becoming bitter, it really mm-hmm. makes us mm-hmm. more of a loner and prefer to be to ourselves. That's real. That's real. Oh my goodness, no, that's you real. Know. Yeah. You- a few mm-hmm. times to scratch us or to claw us. Oh no, yeah, because once you like, that's what we'll that's what like, thing. Like once y'all, y'all y'all give love, y'all show love, and y'all show up, and then but once you like get to the point where it's like you, it's not reciprocated, or it's no reciprocity. Y'all, it's like it's it's like y'all dead. It's like the other person is dead for y'all. Y'all, y'all be out. <laughs> y'all be out, yo. Yo. Yeah, it's very much, like very much. We don't have to do this. Like, if it's not gonna be real, if it's not gonna be right, if it's not gonna be genuine, we don't have to do yeah. this. It's not gonna do nothing but bring stress on you and I. And I don't want to be stressed. Right. I don't want to be worried. I don't want to be agitated. I don't want to be irritated. And I that's one thing I appreciate though, because like, like me, I'm like it. too quick to cut people off. Like, I'd be like, no, no, I'm uh, like, no, I'm too quick to like cut people off. I don't know what it is, but I'm like very quick to be. Out and it's not a good. It, I used to think it was a good. It's not a bad thing, but it's like not a good thing if you. I don't know. Yeah. Yes, I'm like that too, and I'm just how mm. I learned to deal with it. I'm right. just learning that there's good things about it and there's bad things about it. Mm. But I do know for a fact that you are that way for a reason. So don't yeah. ever feel bad about being who you are. You know what I mean? Like don't mm. ever feel bad. I'm sure something you went through in life that made you that way. But sometimes I feel like when you come to those mm-hmm. times when you have to decide whether you want someone in and out of your life, right. if that right. if the option is so easy to make, they're not meant to be there. No, yeah. But if it's something you contemplate about, give them a second chance. But from someone, yeah. Who but I also think I've been I've been alone for it. so long where I'm like 
a little too comfortable being alone. So, and I'm already at like peace with myself. So, if you don't add peace to the peace I already have, then I like I'd be <laughs> I'd be out. So I'm trying to find like that balance of like, okay, like I'm so comfortable alone, but I also want like companionship. So I, I need to find like that that balance where it's like you know I don't know yeah. Um, I mean, so how is the dating? I'm like in this whole. You? Well, I'm not dating right now because I'm like in this whole. I don't want to go too deep into this, but I'm, I'm in this whole like spiritual. I, I don't want to go like go too deep into it, but I'm like growing as an individual. So I'm spending a lot of time in solitude, um, which is like a great thing. So I'm like learning more about myself. I'm facing y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all this: spending time in solitude is tough because you have to face yourself, and you have to deal with like a lot of shit that you don't even want to like face so that's when that's the phase i'm in right now um so i'm not like dating or anything right now i want to make sure if i do date i want to come as my whole self and i feel like right now i'm not like my whole self i have a lot of more healing to do um so yeah so like no dating right now i'm very comfortable like you know just figuring out this who i am and just becoming more just in tune with myself and pouring more into right. myself and self-love because one thing is that you love yourself but you have to be intentional with how you show yourself love. Cause you, I can, I used to be in the mirror like, oh, I love you, I love you. But am I doing things for myself to show that I love myself? So it's, yeah. <laughs> that was a long explanation, y'all, but uh, bear with me, y'all. Be out here. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. but, but you know what? Mm-hmm. And I'm on that journey because I feel like I'm kind of on that journey as well. Mm-hmm. But I want you to know when you get to that place where you begin to love on yourself and pour more into you versus doing everyone else, it gets to a point where it's a little spooky because I am relationship oriented. Like I say, I don't date because I'm a wife, but like I've run into a couple of guys recently that are like, I want you to be my girlfriend. And I'm kind of like, I'm good. (laughs) Like I don't have to do this because I don't, I want to, I want to be married. And I feel like I'm at an age now where dating is cute, but I'm not looking to be a girlfriend. I'm not looking to be a, a side chick. I'm not looking to be like, oh, this girl, no, like, I'm doing this for nigga. We finna do this or we're not. Because the thing is, I'm one of those people that even though I would love to be in a relationship or mm-hmm. love to be in love, no, and that's, that's so I imp- enjoy being single that's as so well. so important. And I'm reading this book, y'all. I don't know if y'all know who Jay Shetty is. This nigga changed my life. He is not from Earth. But it's this book called Eight Rules to Love. And he talks about, um, like, what's the difference between like and love? The first page of the book, he says, um, he compares love to a flower. And he says, like, when you like a flower, you're going to pluck it. When you love a flower, you're going to water it. You're going to give it sunlight. You're going to give it, you're going to feed it. You're going to fertilize it. And so, um, that's one thing I'm like, I'm learning is, and also like, like you said, like, I don't know. I just, I like being alone, but I, like I said, I just have to find like that, <sighs> just that balance, but it's all, it's all the time. Yeah. <laughs> It's all a journey, yeah. And it's all a journey. Yeah. And you're on your way to so much love, peace, success, yeah. and just so Nothing. much goodness and growth. And just stay on that journey. Yeah. Stay sweet. Stay mm-hmm. stay a gentleman. And we love you over here. And anytime you want to line... I'm not going to waste too much of your time. You want to be... <laughs> but no, I appreciate, I appreciate the combo. Yeah. No, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. It's like a the vibe when I come across right. someone on this app and we can actually have decent conversation because as we both yeah, know there's so yeah, much negative yeah, energy and so much ignorance on this app you yeah. know so i finally saw somebody where i can actually indulge in an oh, adult yeah, conversation i appreciate it you know one more thing really about cancers y'all one more thing about cancers y'all will stay y'all ground i think i already said this but y'all will stay y'all ground my sister is a fighter yo she be yo my sister is a fight cancers y'all are fighters and that's one thing <laughs> Cause I'm 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 low key like passive aggressive, um not even passive aggressive. I just don't like I don't know like I'm not like I'm assertive when it comes to like work and shit like that. But when it comes to my personal life, I'm just like so just like nonchalant. Like oh they say that all right whatever whatever. But one thing I appreciate and one thing I'm learning about like just from my sister is just how to like you know if shit ain't right or if shit like somebody like disrespect you because respect is number one thing right. If someone disrespects you, you know, you have to hold your ground. You have to say, like, you know, no, this is not right. And, and that sets up boundaries because you can't – you teach people how to treat you at the end of the day how, by how much you tolerate from other people. So if you tolerate shit, you tolerate people talking all that shit and telling you about yourself. 
you're teaching them how to treat you, especially being accepted. So shout out to cancer. Y'all cancer will be like, yeah. Yeah. And I love to my followers all the time. Right. People right. will only treat you right. the way you allow them to treat you. And as a child, when we were younger, you know, if we had a decent upbringing, we had people in our in our life that told certain adults, mm -hmm. like, don't play with him or mm -hmm. her like that. That's a child. And now that we're an adult, there's right. a certain way that mm -hmm. we should be treated and, and, and acted towards. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a certain type of treatment or energy or action mm -hmm. that needs to be received mm -hmm. towards a adult. Like, I'm an adult. I'm grown. I don't care what you think I am. Right. I don't care how you feel. Respect mm -hmm. is respect. An adult is an adult. Right is wrong. Right is right. Really is real. Wrong right. is wrong. And if we could just stick to those ground it's rules, yeah. everything would be just in cream. And you a grown ass man. No. Don't you be letting nobody play with you. No, no, I'm, I don't. don't I just don't like. Don't look that small. Honestly, like if I don't have like a medium, it's either like I'm heated or I'm just like I'm gonna let that shit slide. Like I don't have like a medium where it's like I'm like combative and shit. Like it's either I'm gonna be up there and we go. It's it's up or it's like you know. And I don't get up there a lot. Yeah. Well, let me, let me tell you this. Mm -hmm. All the time, because I'm very black and white as well. I'm very zero to 100, very mm -hmm. quick. But I am also very direct. Like, I feel like you don't have to do 100. You can gently and uh, in, mm -hmm. in a very adult manner tell someone I'm not the one to play mm -hmm. with. You could very say how you feel, get it off your chest, and you can say it in the tone that you need to say it in. Mm -hmm. Because I tell people all the That's time, I talk to you how you deserve <laughs> to be talked to. That's real. And they can't, they don't like that. Like, I can sit here and talk to King most. We're having a very cool, collective, grown up conversation. But someone else, right. I might be talking to them like no, a You're right. You got to see people where they are. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. But it's so. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, like, when I'm at work, I work in corporate shit. Are, like, absolutely. I'm very, like, headstrong. I'd be like, you know, no, this, like, we got to make this make sense. But when, it, like I said, when it comes to my personal life and things like that and people, um, but it's harder with family. Like, that's what thing I'm trying to, like, fucking... Even, like, when you say, um, like, I'm, I'm an adult now, and I feel like my family still sees me as, like, you know, little bro. Like, you know, but I'm like, no, nigga, I'm, like, a whole... I'm 30 years old now. Like, I'm an adult. Like, I'm out here killing shit, and y'all still see me as, like, this this little person you can, like, you know, kind of talk to and shit like that. So, so I'm like, no, like, I'm... Well, first yeah. off... You know you can put your foot down with family. Now, I'm going to yeah. say this. With family, you're going to always be the little brother. You're going to always be yeah. the baby boy. You're going to always be the big brother, whatever the case may be. You're going to always be that. One thing about family, especially black families, we always love to see each Ooh, other. I got you when you say that. No, that's real. <laughs> that's real. That's real. Yeah. You know, and, and it's okay. It's okay. It's, a form of, mm. it's almost like a form of toxic mm. love and growth. But they don't always necessarily mean any harm. I think a lot of people in, in our families just love to keep that authority. That mm -hmm. yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, I'm the uncle, I'm the adult, you're, you know, but mm -hmm. it gets a time. And me and my mom, we went back and forth for years because I had to let my mm -hmm. mom know a few mm -hmm. times, like, I'm not that little person you raised. Mm -hmm. No, I love you dearly. Mm -hmm. I'm going to respect you to the utmost, mm -hmm. but I'm not tolerating yeah. none of your bullshit. Love you dearly. Mm -hmm. But I'm not Damn, tolerating not, yeah. none of that bullshit. And I feel like once you put your turn in that mm -hmm. and you you show them yeah. that I'm not that child. And no it, more, it's such a relief to yourself, around. too. I feel like if you don't say that, you don't set that boundary or set that expectation with your family, you're doing yourself a disservice. Because it's I, like I'm battling this internal thing. Cause I, I be want to tell my mom, like, mom, like. You got to see me now. Like, of course, you see me as like the person you raised, but you have to see me where I am in this phase, in this present moment in my life right now. Like, it's what I've done and what I've accomplished and where I'm at as I met. Like, I'm, I'm doing, like, I'm out here. So, but it's tough though. My mom, she's, I don't know. Like, that's, yeah. No, that's, I have an older brother, older sister. I'm the youngest. How many siblings do you have? I always do. <laughs> Oh, so you're gonna always be her baby. I don't care if you're forty. Yeah. I don't care if you're fifty. No, y'all love gonna it. Always I love be her it. baby, and it is what it is. You yeah. know, but our but she's gonna always love you. She does respect you as a man. I, I also have learned that once we they all do. grow up and get out of our parents' home, they do get a little lonely, and they do need those. Yeah, and they do need those. Um, thank you, uh, gentlemen. Yeah. I 
they do need those little right. No, you're hundred percent right. Feel motherly and needed and wanted again. You know, because I'll tell my mom in a heartbeat. Yeah. Because I've cussed my mom out before, and I felt so horrible after. So what I've done in the last five years, when she's starting <laughs> to get on my nerve, I'll be like, do you want to get into it with me? <laughs> right. Right. Girl, I'll talk to my mom. Just, do you want to get into it with me? Okay, because I don't no, want to get into right. it with you. Or you have to and I think like, with me, like, like you feel like just being a younger and like even my older brother, older sister, I, I talk to my mom every day, like probably two or three times a day, honestly. She'd be calling me. I'm like low-key her therapist. She'd be calling me about everything. Um, and my older brother, older sister, they don't talk to her like that. And so I feel like since they don't talk to her like every day like I do, I get everything. So like I'm like receiving everything. And it's it's heavy on me sometimes because it's like drama and shit. I hate, I fucking hate drama. Y'all, I cannot stand drama. I just be like, y'all, I just try to like make it. <laughs> Me out here, y'all. Yeah, Ugh. No. yeah mm. like I, I get that too. But let me tell you this. Let me tell you right. this. Don't take that mm. from her. You know, you can minimize the drama, or whatever, whatever the case may be. Mm. But that You're right. that yearning for her little You're boy right. still don't take that from her because tomorrow's not promised. You're right? No, everyone's not blessed to still be their mother. You know what I'm saying? So. Right. It took me a while to get that that median yep. of how I want to interact with my mm -hmm. mom and also yep. remain, uh, maintain respect. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. I feel like once we get older, right. we no longer need no, right. our parents and we're going to always need them, believe it or not. But when we get to that point where we need them financially and we're not there, yeah. it, it's a little harder for them to just let us go. Right. And at the end of the day, we really mm -hmm. don't want to be let go because when we get into that real world mm -hmm. and we realize that all these people that we thought were our friends are not our friends, it's a sigh mm -hmm. of relief to be able to run back home and to get that love. Because when I go visit my grandmother them, like mm -hmm. I will to this day, yes. I will go sit in my grandmother's oh lap my just like this, a grown ass. Jesus. Yeah, no, you like, don't, you don't and I don't feel no about it. No, you, first off, thank you. No, I appreciate that. Like, um, that definitely, that resonated with me heavy heavy that resonated with me heavy um but no like you said yes. um, i appreciate my mom that's why i talk to her and i um i'm very patient Ew. when it comes to like everything that she talks to me about that's why I, every time she pick up every time she called me i'd be i make sure i pick up even though i feel like sometimes it is bulky a little bit stressful and it could disturb my energy but like you say you just never know and i'm blessed that she's still here and i'm blessed that i'm still able to communicate with her and just share space with her even though we're not in the same state right now, but I'm glad we can just still have conversations. Whether it, whether I'm annoyed or not, like, because I know once she's gone, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be going through it. I'll, I'll be, yo, I'll be, <laughs> I'll be going through it. Right, right. But don't even, don't even look like that. Don't even think right. about those times because we also know that those days come, but you are gagged mm. because it could also be a day where something right. happens to you and not her. Mm. You can, don't You're ever right. forget Ooh, that you can leave before shit. she do. So let's not let's not get right. to the thought of mom's gonna leave first. In the world that we live in, the mm. young people we're getting taken out left and right. That's real. No, that's real shit. So right. that's that's why I tell everybody: take it a day at a time. Appreciate each day mm -hmm. for its gift, what God has done mm -hmm. for allowing us to be here. You know, thanking Him right. for our family, our friends, and just peace. Because tomorrow is not promised to any of us. And we have to get out of that mindset just because our p people are older mm. that they're going to leave first. Absolutely right. not. Let's not act like we don't hear about 14, 11 year olds, 12 year olds, 8 year olds. Right, right. And, and you know what's crazy? So I do, like, um, from this earth. I do like motivational speaking and stuff like, on the side. And um, I was supposed to go to Michigan State. So Michigan State just had a shooting. And I was supposed to speak at the school the day the shooting happened. And I was like, oh my, that shit fucked me up. That shit fucked me up. So it's so crazy that you said that. Because I, I didn't even think about it in the aspect where I might leave before my mom, but that's real. That's like real shit. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It could have been, it could have been, because you know, it was, it's right. A delicious. Delicious yeah. from, uh, love it. What's his name? Flavor Flav. One of the girls, you know, the what? three people, two girls and a boy, one of the girls was her niece. Right, right. So let's not ever let those ages get us mm, fucked mm, up because mm. the young are leaving. Yo, that's what like I want to say this, y'all. Yo, every day I wake up, I'll be thanking God. I'll be like, thank God for bread. 
And I want y'all, I don't know who watched that part. I'm pretty sure you got like a thousand viewers over there, but I want to say y'all, every day above ground is a blessing. And you have to wake up and, and show gratitude. And if you show gratitude for what you have, you receive so much more. And, and don't get so caught up on, you know, praying for the next thing that you missed out on, like, you know, what you prayed for and it came into fruition. Cause I used to do that. I used to like pray for the next thing, pray for the next thing. And, didn't realize that what I prayed for at one time actually came true because I was so busy praying for the next thing. So just continue to like notice, like, you know, where you are and notice the things that you did pray for at one time did come true. And just it's gratitude. I just feel like, you know, it's, it's, it's gratitude is the equivalent of abundance. If you have gratitude, then you will have abundance and you'll attract more. You attract goodness. Like even just this conversation right now, like, I appreciate it so much. So much that you've said has resonated with me. So I appreciate just sharing space in this conversation with you. Uh, seriously, like, on the, like, no, like, real shit. Like, seriously, I really do. Um, yeah, I don't even, yeah. I'll be getting deep. I'll be, I'll be one of the, but no, like, seriously, yeah. yeah. No, definitely, like, yeah. one night, like, I can get a couple of people together. We could do a panel and just have, right. like, an open discussion. It's not many people that we can have these type of conversations with. Yeah. Because normally when I do panels, the people be scared to come up and talk. They be scared to speak. So imagine, right. imagine that'll be, that'll be life changing. of us being able to have this type of conversation. That'll be life changing. And even just like, yeah. And even like, just like your platform, like it using really your platform that you have to even like have these, even like use your platform, finding people to have these conversations with and the people that watch, they're going to be affected by just like that conversation because even just like what you just said, a lot of things you say is it's it's like going into people's mind that they don't even think about or even like, you know, see or can even because a lot of people have tunnel vision. I used to have tunnel vision when it comes to like life and things like that. But it's, it's so much bigger than what you can see. So just even just having that language in that space to like have these conversations. Man, uh, 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 we out here right. All right, Cherry Cherry, I gotta go. I gotta go. You out here. <laughs> no, I appreciate okay, it. Yeah, I'm, here. I yeah, I'm about to, uh, um, like, yeah. Uh, oh, that's it. I'm about to, uh, yes. Yeah. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, like I said. No, it's, uh, it's Reese. But it's just, your name he used to be a rapper in Baltimore. I fuck with him. So I was like, oh, King Mo's when I made this. So, so yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes, okay. yes, yes. I, you know, I'll see you. Okay, I'll well, be around. Nice I'll support. You, and thank y'all. Of course, of course, of course, of course. I'll see y'all. Oh, yeah, I got to log off this.